Well, it's time to get started, and before we can start, we have to validate the external data that we have uh, gotten from the municipality. In my case, I will look in raw data and see that I have contour lines, register, and technical map. So, <clears throat> first of all, I need to open each of the drawings and see if the coordinate system is correct. And later, I need to open the contour lines to see if there are any uh, wrong levels, meaning minus 999 or something, some levels that I can't use for my terrain modeling. But first of all, to open uh, the technical map and the land register. And always open them from AutoCAD uh, itself, so that you are sure that you uh, will have all uh, Nova Point applications open as well. I'll start by opening my technical map. And what I want to see here is is the coordinate system the right system and are we drawing in one to one in meters or maybe sometimes we, we might get a file uh, which is uh, made in millimeters and, and this is not useful at least not when it comes to infrastructural projects. So first of all I will zoom into my map and measure a distance distance by typing di in the command line I will measure the width of my circulatory area here in my roundabout and I will see that the distance is 9.12 9.12 meters that seems correct had it been a drawing made in millimeters this distance would have been 9000 and the map would be uh, I wouldn't be able to use my map for road design. Then I could have a look down here in the left corner if I knew something about my coordinate system I would be able to see if the coordinates were correct. Um, you would probably not know what to look for so if you just measure the distance and make sure that it's in meters it's sufficient. Then we need to set our units, our drawing units and the first command to use is the one called DD units so in the command line you type DD units and this box will appear here we have the insertion scale which has to be in meters as well if not set it to meters and press OK then we need to go and have a look in, in the options menu so type options And then in the user preference sheet, the target drawing units should also be set to meters. Very important. So, now the map should be usable uh, for our design. And when this validation has been done or carried out, you should save this file in your XREF folder with an X in front of it. This means that we have looked at our raw data, we, we have uh, done our validation and the file is ready for use. So save as, go back to the XREF folder and save it with an X in front of it. X technical map. Save and we open our land register file also from raw data and this you just do with everything you've got uh, everything you have received from the municipality check my disk 18 meters seems fair DD units meters okay options user preferences target drawing units meters okay then this one is ready to be saved in the extra folder 
as x register. And we actually have to do the same thing about our control lines. We also have to do something else about our control lines, but let's just open it and check the coordinate system. meters and meters okay save as so and now we are actually ready to do our plan design or horizontal design but we need to be ready to do our vertical design as well including a terrain model and vertical alignment. This is why we have to have a closer look at this contour line file. 